Hey guys, it's Justin, uh, your brass instructor at REW, giving you another tip and another video on how to practice and what to focus on. So brass players, um, I have told you guys multiple times uh, that you really need two things in order to make a note on the trumpet. You need to have an embouchure and then you have to have air. Now if you don't have enough of one, uh, then the other is going to have to work twice as hard and it's going to be even harder to play your instrument. So I would recommend um, trying to focus on um, your embouchure and your air at the same time. Now some of you guys are, have had some embouchure issues or some air issues uh, and because you have programmed, as we t uh, we've talked about before, anything you practiced, even if it's wrong, you've programmed yourself to do, You've programmed yourself to uh, play your instrument incorrectly, which means you have to reprogram yourself. Um, so when you're playing, some things that you uh, you can do, I and I've told everybody this, you have to practice uh, long tones. Uh, long tones are a hugely uh, beneficial thing um, for, for a couple reasons. A, you're playing notes and you're holding them for a long period of time which as we have also talked about increases muscle memory it gives you that opportunity to when you see a note on a page you're like oh that's a c i know how to play it i've played a bunch of them i play them forever so you can play a c for example hey look a c right so you've played a c i can play a c you can play a c everybody can play a c and then we can go on the higher notes now if you're working on working on your higher notes you have to really work on those in long tones. So say you're working on a high C. C is C is where you're at, which is uh, for trumpet players that's your third third space. Okay, one two three. That's your third space C. Okay. So say I'm working on it. I want to hold it and I want to sit up nice and tall. I want to make my embouchure. I want to focus on it and I want to focus on increasing abdominal pressure down here. That increases speed. Take a nice, relaxed breath. Okay, so that was a nice, solid C. Now, I've also played, I've also been playing C's for way longer than you guys have, so that's why my C sounds so nice. Um, your C is going to sound just as nice if you start really focusing and honing in on that kind of practice. You want to practice your long tones for at least 10 minutes a day probably. And now that you have a lot of time, play it often. Like Do that a lot, especially if you're really w working on getting higher notes. So why, as brass players, do we want higher notes? This goes for trombone players, too. The higher you know, you know how to play, the more songs you're going to be able to play, which means you're, you're going to have more fun. Now when you're only playing the first like five notes c d e f g or for uh, my bone players uh b flat c d e flat f well that's not a lot of notes it's five notes you can't really play a lot of songs in five notes yeah there are a lot of songs with just five notes but wouldn't it be fun to add a sixth or or a seventh or maybe an eighth or even some lower notes really start expanding our range that means you can start playing lots of songs. Um, I'm trying to think of an example of a song that you could learn to play. Um, so that's Megalovania. That already takes you way up higher than those first five notes. Trumpet players, I started on high E, which is eight notes higher than this E. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like, that's a lot of notes. And I was going to go lower, and I was adding more notes. So the more notes you start adding, the more songs you can play. But the only way you can really add those notes and make it so you can play them well is if you play them long tones. Also, what's the second half of the, uh, of the phrase, long tones? You have the long, which means play them forever. But what's the other word? It's tones which means you're working on your tone quality, which is how good you sound. And if you start playing, and you start listening to other trumpet players, and you start listening to me play, and you're like, I want to make my sound sound like them, how do I do that? Well, you listen, and you try to 
firm up armature, make everything consistent. Maybe open your jaw a little bit so it has an open sound coming out. If it sounds really thin and pinched, that's because you're pinching here. You need to use more air. Okay? So, that is another thing you can utilize. Um, long tones are really important, and I would always recommend practicing them. Bow, bow.